everyone, I'm Kunjan Patel from my Forex Eye and welcome to this webinar on Forex Hedging, is it the art of predicting markets or the science of protecting profit margins? Let's start with understanding how Forex markets and businesses are connected. Now, importers and exporters are constantly exposed to the volatility of the foreign currency rates. Such exchange rates are continuously fluctuating and can adversely affect the profitability of businesses. Most of the foreign currency rates are extremely volatile and hence need regular monitoring. Businesses can either try predicting the market movements and keep their positions unhedged or they can take a hedge and protect their profit margins. Depending upon their risk appetite, exporters and importers hedge their forest exposures or keep the positions open. Now, since most importers and exporters are risk averse, they gravitate towards hedging the exposure rather than speculating and keeping their positions unhedged. Now, what do we mean by predicting markets? Predicting the market means trying to determine where the exchange rates will move in the future. Market participants study fundamental analysis and technical analysis to make these forecast estimations. Although there are millions of market participants in the forex markets around the globe and hundreds of economic data that are released throughout and with the forex markets being a round the clock market with the multiple events, news and sentiments impacting the market, it is humanly impossible to evaluate and analyze the impact of all such data on forex rates. Irrespective of the level and depth of analysis, forecasts will always be a 50-50 probability scenario. Another question that arises is what exactly is protecting profit margins? As we already know that fluctuations in the foreign currency rates have significant implications on the importers and exporters costs and cash flows. And if left unhedged, an adverse move in the currency can wipe out the company's business profit margins. Hence, it is critical for them to protect their business profit margins and not speculate on the rates. Costing and budgeting is done at the current spot rate. Hence, business profit is calculated basis that if we hedge using forward contracts, the forward rate that we get is equal to spot plus the forward premium. This locks in our rate at which our costing is done, that is the spot rate, over and above protecting our business profit margins. Hence, when you hedge, your business margins is protected irrespective of the market movements. Let us look at an example to understand this better. For example, an exporter has an export receivable due in six months. The current spot rate is 72. Hence, costing and budgeting is done at 72. Now, this is the minimum rate that we would like to protect. Let's look at case one where we don't hedge and keep our positions open. That is convert our currency at this spot at maturity. Since costing is done at the current spot of 72, we use this rate as the comparing point. In now, let's look at the table. In case the rupee appreciates uh, to say 70, we incur a market loss of two rupees. And if the rupee depreciates to say 75, we make a market gain of three rupees. In both scenarios, our business margins are uncertain and unprotected. Now let's look at case two, where we hedge using a six month forward contract. Now the current spot rate is 72 and the six month forward premium that we're getting is one rupee 50 pesa. Now oh, we get the forward rate by adding the spot rate plus the forward premium, which equals to 73.5. 
Now, costing is done at 72 and the fixed rate that we realize at maturity is 73.5. By hedging, we have protected our business margin irrespective of where the markets will move. The market gain or loss is unknown at the initiation of the contract and will be realized at maturity, but the business margin is secure and void of any uncertainty. Now, let's dwell deeper into Forex hedging. Adverse movements in the foreign currency can give rise to operational losses and cash flow problems for the importers and exporters. The practice of reducing this uncertainty and protecting from adverse currency movements through a well-defined system is known as Forex hedging. Hedging can be done uh, internally or externally. Internally by netting the exposures or adjusting the trade terms or externally by using derivatives like forwards, futures, options and swaps. The ultimate goal is to reduce the uncertainty related to the rates rather than predicting whether rates will be in the future since no one can predict the rates. Now, there's two kinds of hedging, uh, arbitrary hedging and systematic hedging. Arbitrary hedging is where we immediately hedge whatever exposure comes our way. And systematic hedging is where we follow well-defined rules and conditions for hedging our exposures. To reiterate on our starting statement of whether forex hedging is the art of predicting markets, or the signs of protecting profit margins? Well, forex hedging includes a well-defined body of knowledge and is objective, where the goal is to protect the profit margins by reducing the uncertainty related to the rates. It allows the profit margins to be dictated by business strategies and not by currency movements. Hence, we can say that it is the science of protecting pro profit margins rather than an art of predicting markets. One example of a well-defined method of hedging foreign exchange is using the concept of first day forward rate. Our objective is to limit the sentiments of greed and fear and remove the uncertainty at the lowest possible cost and set the take profit and stop loss levels rationally. Let us understand this statement step by step. We know that importers and exporters are risk averse and have no speculative intent and their focus is on hedging their exposures. Uh, this can be done in two ways, either the conservative approach or the pragmatic approach. The conservative approach says that we should hedge as soon as the exposure arises. The intent is to protect the profit margins and not speculate. This is done by booking a forward contract at the first day forward rate. An analysis done by a team for a period of 20 years showed that it is beneficial for exporters to hedge immediately at the first day forward rate. That is follow the conservative approach. Uh, as the premium earned is usually uh, more than rupee weakening. Now let's look at the pragmatic approach. If the importers or exporters want to participate a little in the markets, they can do so by following a proper system with strict discipline. The objective for exporters is to maximize the premium they receive and the objective for importers is to minimize the premium they pay. The result of a similar analysis done by a team for importers uh, showed that 65% of the times it was beneficial for importers to wait for the forward rates to go down and hedge at the lower cost. Now, we came across two words, a forward contract and first day forward rate. A forward contract locks in a rate for the maturity date of the receivables or liabilities 
and helps reduce the uncertainty regarding the rates to be received in the future. The forward rate is the sum of the spot rate and the forward premium till the date of the payment or receivables. Let's understand what a first day forward rate is. A first day forward rate is the rate at which an exporter or importer books a forward contract as soon as an export order or import liability arises. This is equal to the sum of the spot rate when the exposure first arises and the premium till the date of the receivables and payment. Let's look at the method for using the concept of first day forward rate. The first day forward rate is used as a benchmark to make hedging decisions. Next, a percentage parameter is set to determine the take profit and stop loss levels according to the risk appetite of the exporter or importer. Now, what we mean by risk appetite is that it is the amount uh, of risk that can be assumed according to a person's ability and willingness to take risk. Ability to take risk is defined by the capacity of a person to absorb losses and willingness to take risk is a person's attitude towards risk. A person can be risk averse, that is he prefers low risk and wants certainty in his returns. Or a person can be risk neutral, that is he prefers uh, to eliminate the risk altogether by taking offsetting positions or he can be a risk taker. That is, he prefers high risk and high returns and does not mind uncertain and high returns. Two significant levels that are decided on the basis of the client's risk appetite are the take profit and stop loss levels. Take profit is the level at which the client will start taking profit, which means this is the point where the client will book a forward contract. And stop loss is the level beyond which the client will not take any further losses. This is the threshold beyond which the client is not willing and able to take losses. Now the next step is to take hedging decisions by doing a comparative analysis of a hedge cost using forwards in future with the hedge cost of the first day forward rate for the same majority. And finally, we book the forward contracts according to the take profit and stop loss level set. Now, an important question arises in the minds of importers and exporters, that is when to hedge. For exporters, exporters receive the forward premium at the maturity date. Thus, exporters are advised to follow the conservative approach and book the forward contracts as soon as they receive the export order that is as the first day forward rate. Now they can also opt for the pragmatic approach where the forward contract booking is timed such that the premium earned is maximized along with getting a favorable rate. The take profit level derived from the first day forward rate acts as an upper threshold and the stop loss levels derived from the first day forward rate act as the lower threshold. Now, if the forward rates go above the take profit level, then we hedge, else we wait. And if the forward rates go below or touch the stop loss levels, then we hedge to avoid further losses. Else we wait. Let's look at the case for importers. The forward premium is a cost for them, which they have to pay at the maturity rate. Due to this reason, the forward contract booking is timed such that their cost is minimized. The take profit level derived from the first day forward rate acts as a lower threshold and the stop loss level derived from the first day forward rate acts as an upper threshold. Now, if the forward rate goes below the take profit level, then we hedge. And if the forward rate goes, below, uh, goes above the stop loss level or touches it, then we hedge to avoid further losses. Else we wait. 
it is advised that the importer set aggressive percentage parameters since it is historically seen that it is beneficial for them to wait for the forward rates to go down and reduce their hedging cost over time now there are two reasons why the forward rates may go down either the spot goes down or the premium goes down because of time value decay as the time to maturity decreases the forward premium also decreases now let's look at an example to understand this concept better so for example if uh, today is 4th may and an importer's liability arises uh, to pay 1 million dollars in 4 months now the current spot rate is 75.70 and the four month premium that we are getting is 1 rupee we calculate the forward rate by adding the forward premium and the spot which gives us a rate of 76.70 this is the importer's first day forward rate and the hedging cost if hedged at this rate is equal to 4% now according to the risk appetite of the importer he wants to reduce the hedge cost to say 2% so the percentage parameter is set at 2% and the take profit and stop loss ratio is set as 1 is to 2 what this implies is that the stop loss level is set at 1% that is 50% of the take profit level this ratio indicates the importer's risk appetite now this is just an example where a person with moderate risk appetite wanted to reduce his hedge cost to 2% on the other hand a person with high risk appetite may want to reduce the hedge cost from 4% to 0% or a risk averse person he may want to reduce his hedge cost by just 1% and take it down to 3% now it should be kept in mind that the stop loss levels should be set in proportion to the take profit level that is uh, set in accordance with the person's risk appetite what the ratio implies is that we book a forward contract when the forward rates move by 2% in the favorable direction that is the decrease to 76.20 or we book a stop loss if the forward rate moves by 1% in the unfavorable direction that is it increases to 76.90 let's look at a case where one month later uh, the currency moves in an adverse direction so our first day forward rate is of 76.70 our spot rate comes to 76.15 and the 3 month premium that we're getting now is 0.75 adding the spot rate and the 3 month premium we get a forward rate of 76.90 the percentage difference between the first day forward rate and today's forward rate is 1% therefore raising our hedging cost to 5% now the forward rate increased as the spot rose by 45 paisa and the premium for the remaining majority decreased well this is because uh, the percentage uh, change in spot is greater than the percentage change in premium so our hedging cost is equal to 5% therefore hitting a stop loss level thus we book a forward contract at this rate and hedge ourselves from further losses now let's look at another case where one month later the currency moves in a favorable direction so our first day forward rate is of 76.70 and the spot rate comes down to say 75.45 and the 3 month premium that we're getting is 0.75 adding the spot and the premium we get a forward rate of 76.20 now the percentage difference between the first day forward rate and today's forward rate is negative 2% therefore reducing our hedging cost to 2% the forward rate decreased as the the forward rate decreased as the spot fell 25 paisa 
and the premium for the remaining maturity also decreased. Our hedging cost is equal to 2%, therefore hitting a take profit level. Thus, we book a forward contract at this rate and lock in a favorable rate for our exposure, which will arise three months later. To conclude, we have seen that the forex markets keep fluctuating and one can either get greedy or waiting for the market to move further in their favor or uh, one can hedge in a disciplined way targeting take profit levels and stop loss levels. Importers may aim at hedging at the lowest possible cost and exporters may want to earn as much premium as possible which may be unattainable. So the ultimate motive should be to protect our profit margins through hedging and limiting the sentiments of greed and fear and set the take profit and stop loss levels rationally. This helps the businesses protect their profit margins by locking in a favorable rate and also help them avoid losses if the market goes against them through a stop loss. Risk advisors at my Forex, I continuously monitor your Forex exposure. The current forward rate is compared with your first day forward rate and hedging targets and stop loss levels are defined according to your risk appetite. Hedges are taken as soon as the target or stop loss levels are hit. A disciplined and defined approach that is by eliminating greed and fear is the key to efficient forex risk management. I hope all your questions related to the topic were answered through this presentation. Feel free to further reach out to us for additional queries at gunjan.patil at myforexi.com or at 777-1009-009. Thank you.